Good morning and welcome to Breakfast with Belvis. We are breaking our fast from a long night's rest and we are filling our spirit with the word of God this morning. And today's scripture is coming from Psalm 11, starting at verse 4, which reads, The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes watch. He examines everything. The Lord examines the righteous and the wicked. He hates the lover of violence. He will rain burning coals and sulfur on the wicked. A scorching wind will be their portion. For the Lord is righteous. He loves righteous deeds. The upright will see his face. I have read Psalm 11 verses 4 through 7. And my takeaway verse for today is found in verse 4, which says the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes watch. He examines everything. And so this reminds me, you know, I've heard uh, growing up that that the Lord is sitting on his throne and he's watching and judging. And, you know, um, and this reminds me that he's just not sitting on his throne. This reminds me that he is actually in his temple. He is in his holy dwelling place and that place is in heaven. Um, and he's, he's, he's living, he's moving. Um, and the, the scripture reminds us that he's watching and examining. And that also reminds me of me being a parent. And even when my mom, how she watched and observed us to see what are the things that she needs to point out and that she needs to teach us on. And I do the same thing with my son. I watch him. I observe him. What are the things I need to point out? What are the things I need to be praying to God about? So God is watching and observing us. He's examining our hearts, whether they be right or wrong. And so that he can get our attention in whatever way he chooses and that he know he needs to get our attention. So um, that is my takeaway uh, verse for the day. I encourage you to pick your scripture and verse and meditate on it throughout the rest of the day. I will be reminded that the Lord is watching, that the Lord is examining with a heart to want to even come and help me and guide me in my own life. So, um, I I encourage you to pick your your scripture and verse and meditate on it. So good news of the day. We have broken our fast and we have filled our spirit with the word of God. And we are ready to go uh, in Jesus name today. So be encouraged, be blessed. Remember, if you pick your scripture and verse, please put it down in the comment section so that I'll know I am not walking this journey alone. So be blessed and have a good day and I'll see you on the next one.